everyone! For this video, we will show you how to report your experiences in Handshake. When you are in Handshake, you will want to visit the Career Center page, either with the tab in the middle of your screen or from the Career Center tab at the top. You can also go to your profile and visit the Career Center page from there. When you arrive at the Career Center page, you will see tabs to make appointments, view our resources, request your experiences, and complete surveys. In order to request an experience, click on the Experiences tab. On this page, you can see any of your previously requested experiences to then edit or view. To make a new experience, simply click on the Request an Experience tab. You will then be asked to fill out a survey based on your experience. It is very important that you choose the correct experience type and term for your experience. Experience types are listed out by individual colleges, and you should choose the college in which your major lies. You may notice that ECS and IS are missing from this list. Students within those departments should report to their department for information on reporting an internship. Then you will select the term for which you are receiving credit or transcript notation for your experience. Next, you will be asked about your employer. When selecting an employer, try to pick one from the drop-down menu. If your employer is not listed, then you can fill in this information. Please try to fill out the survey as completely as possible from here. When it comes to filling in the date information, please select your experience start and end date for the term you are reporting. International students should refer to the CPT guidelines put forth by ISSO for start and end date considerations. Again, fill out the survey as completely as possible with all of your job and general information. This general information section may change based off of which school you're reporting for. Within this general section, please include the physical address of where you will actually be working. This could be a local office or workspace that is not necessarily the headquarter location. As you are going through the rest of the pages of questions, please make sure that the information is accurate. If you are unsure about any of the questions pertaining to your experience, please reach out to your supervisor for clarification. It is also important to list the correct internship recognition information, including the course number. If you have any questions over this, you may reach out to your academic department for more information, as this may vary. To prevent any delays in the processing of your experience, please fill out the survey to its entirety, finishing with your work authorization information and the general acknowledgements. The very last question indicates that you need to upload an offer letter and job description for your experience. This step is crucial in processing your experience. When you select Request Experience, you will be taken to the Experience main page with all of the information on the experience that you just requested. To add an attachment, such as an offer letter or a job description, simply select New Attachment. From here, you will enter the name of the document that you would like to appear on your experience, such as Offer Letter. Then, you will select Choose File to select that document from your computer. It is usually better to upload the documents as a PDF. Once you have chosen your file, select Create Attachment. A green check mark appearing at the top of the page will indicate a successful attachment. You most likely will have to refresh the page to view the attachment that you just made. From here, you can click on that attachment if you wish to update or even delete it. To view our experience and upload another attachment, we can go back to the Career Center page and click on the Experiences tab. From here, the experience that we just requested is listed. When we hit View Details, we have the option to add a new attachment, or we can look at the details of our experience and the comments and activity. You may see comments from the Career Center in this Comments and Activity tab. It's important to check back to this tab to see if we have requested any more information. Additionally, you can communicate with the Career Center by adding a comment. We recommend you obtain all of the information and documents needed for your experience before submitting your request. If you need, 
please check in with your academic department or the Career Center for information on all requirements. This has been a quick tutorial on reporting and experience in Handshake. As always, the Career Center is here to help. If you have any questions about the experience request process or anything career related, please reach out to speak with one of our many career professionals.